Hi crafters and welcome to Creative Moments by G. I'm G and today we are going to create a fun fold with a gift card holder on the inside. Perfect for the holiday seasons. So whether you are a seasoned crafter or a beginner on your crafting journey, we hope that this video inspires you. So let's head down to the crafting table and let's get creative. Let me show you this card. Here it is. We have this beautiful circle on the front that acts as a holder for this flap. You just open it up and then we can tuck a gift card right here. Now when you put this back together, you just fold them both at the same time and it just slips right in. Look at that. Now, make sure that you stay with us because I have another card to show you at the end. So let's go ahead and get our card stock. What's so interesting when you create cards is you've got to decide on your pattern paper, your color coordination, and that's what makes it so much fun for Maudie and I. Well, on this particular card, which by the way, we're going to make two cards today, I've selected Cherry Cobbler. Now, we need to cut this down two eight and a half by five and a half and we already have eight and a half here so we're going to turn it long ways we're going to cut it at five and a half and this will create our base card we're going to turn it and score at four and a fourth and i want to remind you all our measurements will be listed over on creative moments by g.com so you can head over there and click on my blog and get those measurements and all the supplies you need Okay, so we're going to put our trimmer to the side. We're just going to fold this over, bring in our bone folder, and give it a good crease. Now, this is such a fantastic card because it can be for any occasion. It can be a holiday card, a birthday card, get well card. Oh, and by the way, we've tucked a little surprise on the inside for you. So to do that part, we need to go ahead and bring in our trimmer and we're going to score at one and a half. Now, this little tab gets folded to the inside of the card. So once again, we're gonna bring in our bone folder, give it a good crease, and that's what it looks like. Now all we have to do is really decide on the paper and I have selected some fantastically beautiful paper to go on this card. Look at this gorgeous paper. Oh my goodness. Now remember, I'm gonna have the supplies listed over on my blog, but for this mat, we need to go ahead and cut it two and a half by five and a fourth. So let's get that cut. Now this is directional paper. So I made sure that I cut it where it goes across because it is notes, right? So here we have our notes just like this. So we have two and a half to give it the column width. And then the length we're going to go ahead and cut at five and a fourth. Now look at that, so pretty. Let's go ahead and lay that down. So I'm just gonna bring in my tape runner. I'm going to bring in my silicone mat so I don't get any tape on my table. And I'm just going to open this so that I can see exactly what border I want. I'm trying to make sure that I have the same border at the top, sides, and bottom. And now I'm going to cut a little strip for right here. And we know that this is one and a half. So I'm going to cut this strip at one and a fourth by five and a fourth. So I'm gonna bring in my trimmer again. And the column or the width of it, I want it to be one and a fourth. 
Now remember, this is directional paper, so you really need to pay attention to that. And I'm gonna cut the length at five and a fourth. And I'm just going to lay this down right here. And look at that. So let's go ahead and bring in our tape runner and get this laid down. Okay, and so that they have a place to write, we need to go ahead and put a white piece of paper right here, or I'm going to use a very vanilla. And we're going to leave a little border right there. Now look at that, look at how pretty that is. Let's go ahead and create our pocket for our gift card. Now this is so easy to create. Just take your tear and tape, it's your quarter inch tear and tape. We are going to lay a strip right against the edge right here. And we're gonna just put one strip because we wanna make sure that we have enough room for our gift card. If you get too close to the edge, this will pop open and you don't want that. So that's just a little tip. You wanna make this tear and tape small enough to where you do not force it and then cause it to open up. So get your take your pick tool. Go ahead and just lift off the backing and fold that down. Now you have plenty of room to add your gift card. So now all we need to do is create our flap. Now, there's several ways you can do the flap. When we hook the flap, you can put it behind right here or you can actually set it underneath this strip if you want to. I'm going to show you how to put it on the back, and then on the second card, we'll put it underneath this piece of patterned paper or cardstock. Our tab needs to be two and a half by three and three fourths. And then we need to go ahead and turn it um, on the short side and just score a fourth of an inch. This gives us our little tab that we're going to put on the base card. Now, we need to go ahead and pick some paper for the front of this tab, and I wanna show you what I've selected. I cut some bronze, beautiful paper, and I'm using this cane weave embossing folder, so I embossed it. And let me show you how beautiful that looks. Isn't that gorgeous? So we're going to go ahead and add this flap to our card right on the back and right in the middle, just like this. So let's bring in our tape runner. Let's put this right on the edge. So now we're going to add this right to the front. And notice how I'm leaving this border right here so that it goes with the theme of the card because we have a border at the top and a border at the bottom so we wanna make sure and leave that border. So let's go ahead and add some tape. And because this is a 3D embossing folder, I added a little more tape than I normally would. So let's get this lined up on this side first. Look at how pretty that looks. 
so pretty. Now what we did is we took a couple of our punches. We took a two and a quarter and a two and a half. So we're gonna use the larger one for our colored circle. And notice how we selected one that had scalloped edges. And then we are going to use our very vanilla as the smaller circle. Now we need to go ahead and stamp our message on this and we're going to stamp Merry Christmas in Cherry Cobbler to match our cardstock. That is one of the reasons that I love Stampin' Up! products so much is the color coordination. So pretty. But you know, I'm not quite through yet. I want to go ahead and stamp just a few hollies on there for Christmas. So this is just a scratch piece of paper. Let's go ahead and just get a few hollies. We are going to add this on some dimensionals. And then just add it to the front of our other cutout circle that has scalloped edges on it. Now, when you go to add this circle onto this, you want to just put it even with your border right here, because it just barely catches this area. And I'm gonna go ahead and put mine right in the center because I like to center things. But you can put it down, you can put it up. It really depends on how you're gonna decorate the front of your card, so you need to take that into consideration. But when you do put this down on your paper, wherever you decide to put it, you wanna make sure that you only put your dimensionals on this back half right here. So we're just gonna flip this over and we're just gonna add our dimensionals on this side. Just like that. And now I'm gonna take the backing off and we're gonna add it to the front of our card. And look at how this latches. So you open it up just like this. Plenty of room to write your message. You have your gift card holder right here. And when you go to close it, just close it at the same time. And there you have it. Let's start making our second card. So let me just get everything laid out on the table. Now remember, we have cut our cardstock, just your regular size cardstock, but we have to go ahead and score the front to give us all our little area where we put our gift card, right? So we're gonna slide that in and we're just gonna score at one and a half. Now we just tuck that in just like that, bring in our bone folder and give it a good crease. Next thing we need to do, decide on your color coordination. We have selected this adorable, fun Christmas paper. <laughs> Look at that. So let's go ahead and get that laid down. Okay. 
Now we are going to use just a full size mat on the inside. It's a first mat. And this time, before we lay this down, we have cut our flap with that additional quarter inch tab. And we're gonna slip that right under here so that you can see it both ways. One way was to put it on the back if it matched your cardstock, not a problem. But you can also slip it right behind this. So let's go ahead and get our glue right down here. We're going to just center this just like that. And now we are going to lay down our mat. But before we do that, we want to go ahead and stamp our sentiment just in case, right? So let me show you how we're going to do that. We are going to bring in lemon lolly and give it just a very light background. So tap, tap, tap. And we are going to stamp the sentiment in real red. And we have selected this beautiful sentiment. Making spirits bright. And just adding that little highlight behind really makes the sentiment pop. So let's go ahead and get this laid down to the inside of our card. Let's create our gift card pocket. We're gonna bring in our tear and tape and we're just putting it right on the edges. This is such an easy gift card holder to make that this will probably be one of your favorites for all occasions. We're just going to push that down. I like to just use my fingernails for this. Get our take your pick tool Take the backing off. And press down. Now we have our pocket for our gift card. We have the inside done, and now all we need to do is decorate this front. Now we just took some Knight of Navy, ran it through an embossing folder, Look at that, so pretty. Let's just get that laid down. And we punched out our circle. So we have our two circles. They're gonna go right on the front. And then we're going to decorate it with uh, our Christmas tree. So let's go ahead and get this laid down with some dimensionals. Here's our Christmas tree that we cut out using our patterned paper. We didn't even have to color it. So let's set it up on some dimensionals as well, just to give it that added height. We stamped our sentiment and cut it out. So I'm going to just put that right across the front. And for the final step, I'm going to add this beautiful star right on the top. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue right at the tip.
And look at that. Now we just need to remember adding our dimensionals to the left hand side. We'll take off the back and add it to the front of our card. And remember, when we add this circle, we're matching up as much as possible to this line right there. And here we have it. Now, we don't have that tab on the back right here. We put it underneath our mat. We have our gift card holder right here. And when you go to close it, you just slip this right underneath the circle. So take a moment and let me know. Of the two that we created today together, which is your favorite? Now let me bring in the other one that I showed you, that cute little bear. Oh, look at that. And it made it really quick to create this because we didn't even stamp these trees. We just cut them out of our patterned paper. Open it up, there you have it. And finally, look at this one. So pretty, look at that. Look at that little guy right there. Oh my goodness. We embossed this paper right here. We added some beautiful little rhinestones just to give it some additional sparkle. And we carried over the scene right here. Did you notice that? We carried it over. We cut it in some dimensions that fit this card perfectly. So now, which card is your favorite? Let us know. Well, thank you so much for spending your time with me today. I hope that you were inspired. And if you were, take a moment, subscribe, like, share with your friends. Well, Maddie and I want to wish you a fantastic day. And we'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye.